welcome to my freak show. Here's a special theory video for you, and it's all thanks to Debbie Ebby Babebi. So please show this wonderful woman some love in the comments. And as usual, guys, quick spoiler alert for those of you who haven't caught up to the first five episodes of AHS Delicate. And if you're craving detailed episode reviews, check out my AHS Delicate reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Let YouTube know I'm alive by throwing a like or dislike on the videos that you watch. Your support means the world to me. And for those who want even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a channel member with levels starting at just a buck. So please stay tuned also for some awesome merch that is going to be dropping soon. In this video, we will discuss Debbie's theory that the liquid vitamin B12 is the new form of the black pill, also known as the Muse from AHS Red Tide. Okay, when I started this theory, I didn't see the same evidence as Debbie. This is her theory, so I wasn't necessarily looking for this information when I originally watched the first five episodes of AHS Delicate. However, once she told me her theory, I saw the show in a brand new light. I found many connections between the two, and in this video, you can watch the evidence I present and judge for yourself. Real quickly, let's review the Muse pill from AHS Red Tide. The mysterious black pill known as the Muse in American Horror Story Red Tide was created by the chemist. She worked for the US government for nine years trying to unlock the creative parts of the brain. When the pill is taken, it acts as a catalyst for creativity enhancing talents in writing, art, music, all that, almost instantly. However, this new film brilliance comes at a big cost. The pill triggers an insatiable craving for fresh human blood while depleting the body's essential minerals. Normal food becomes ineffective and personalities take a dark turn towards brutal arrogance with a single-minded focus on their own greatness. Now for those lacking natural talent, if they take the pill, the effects cause a rapid descent into physical and mental deterioration within about three days. And this transformation results in individuals becoming angry, feral, violent, and it eventually turns them into these mindless flesh phantoms, which I kind of refer to as vampires. Now, interestingly, these vampires pose no threat to those who have taken the pill. Despite the dangers, addicted individuals are driven by the success it brings, not the drug itself. So anybody can stop taking the pill at any time. There's no withdrawals, though their creativity does diminish. Okay, let's talk about the liquid B12 that Anna is ingesting in AHS Delicate. Anna's agent and friend Siobhan Corbin is giving Anna liquid B12. And as you guys know, B12 comes in various forms such as liquid, pill, and an inhaler. It is essential for physical energy and it keeps your blood and your nerve cells healthy. And it makes sense that Siobhan gives it to Anna, but she's not a doctor. And let's get to the meat, okay, of this theory. Let's get to the evidence. Anna has demonstrated symptoms of someone who has taken the Muse pill. Number one, Anna was once popular in her teens, but at 36 years old, her career has suddenly thrived. The same happened with Harry and everyone else in Red Tide. Once dead careers met resurgence or careers suddenly take off after ingesting the pill. Number two, the dead raccoon called to Anna's stomach and eventually she ate it. Consuming raw flesh, it was huge for the vampires like Harry, Alma, and the others that were in Red Tide. Number three, both Anna and the takers of the pill experienced hair loss. Number four, Anna's arrogance regarding her fame mirrors those who have taken the Muse pill. Number five, people addicted to the Muse are driven not by the drug itself, but by the success it brings. Anna's pursuit of an Oscar nomination or that Oscar award over a child mirrors this addiction to success. Number six, once she ingested the pill, Doris experienced a loss of time. Anna has also experienced a loss of time after ingesting the B12. Now, I realize not every single one of these symptoms match, you know, the original Muse pill in Red Tide. 
So let's go over those differences and how it reinforces the fact that Anna is taking a new type of black pill. Number one, Anna isn't necessarily as successful as Harry and the others from Red Tide. I mean, she is in a successful movie, but she's reaching hard for that coveted Oscar award. If she took the pill, wouldn't she be a shoe in to win? Well, if she would have taken the muse from Red Tide, that would happen. But this is a new version, an upgrade, so to speak. Perhaps the success part of the pill isn't so successful because of the lack of the fresh blood. Number two, speaking of blood, the vampires and the creative people required fresh blood. The fresher, the better. Plus, Anna eats regular food, and Harry and the others could only drink blood or eat raw meat. Yet, this proves that the B12 is a new form of the black pill. It no longer depletes the four essential vitamin minerals, excuse me, as quickly, so Anna doesn't have the need to feed as often on the freshest meat and can eat normal food in the meantime. Number three, yes, Anna is losing her hair, but nothing like Doris or the other bald vampires. Besides, it seems like Anna is like, in my opinion, that delicate balance between talented and not talented, pun not intended, but an upgraded pill perhaps fixed the problem of the untalented turning into vampires. Perhaps it takes any form of talent, regardless if you're born with it, to activate. Again, guys, I realize that not every single one of the symptoms match the original Muse pill from Red Tide, but again, those differences reinforce the fact that Anna is taking an upgraded version of the Muse. Do you think the liquid B12 Siobhan is giving Anna is an upgraded form of the Muse pill from Red Tide? Now drop your theories in the comments because I can't wait to read them. Special thank you to Debbie for bringing this topic to my theory attention. I love you, Debbie. Guys, AHS weekly Wednesday live streams are back 7 p.m. Central Time. And join me for live chats about everything AHS. Theory videos come out every single Thursday, and character breakdowns are coming down in March. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you, and beware of sexy scathitch. Scathitch. know how hard my staff has worked for you? How many blowjobs were collectively given for you to even be considered? I mean, Derek's jaw may never recover.